Now when developing websites, we can also use a site called Font Awesome. Font Awesome allows us to use characters as graphics. So if we come in here and we start looking for a graphic and we might just put in something simple like Twitter, it will give us different icons that we can use and I can select the Twitter. So this is the icon here. It comes down as a vector. You can see the vector lines, etc. I can also use this icon and it gives me the class for it. So I can actually insert this into my web page as an icon and I will get the Twitter symbol. So let's just copy that. We're going to head back to our page and in our footer after contact developer, I'm going to place this icon. Now at the moment, this icon won't work. So when I refresh the page, so when I refresh the page and go have a look, you can't actually see the icon because we need to make a link to Font Awesome's library. To do that, we're going to place that underneath our style. When you sign up to Font Awesome, it'll actually send you a link to the kits or the basically the hyperlink to the library. So once you register, they'll send you an email. You'll be able to click and confirm your email address and plus set things up. So once you access to the website after registering, you log in, go into your kits. Once you're in your kits, click the little globe. It will then give you the script source and you can copy that kit code, go back to your web page and paste that in underneath your link. Now once you've done that, you can save that and you can now see that the little Twitter symbol has appeared next to your developer information. Now because that is a little i tag, we can put a subclass in the footer and the i tag and we can actually put some padding uh, to the left and the right. We'll just put 20 pixels again. And save that. You can see now there's a gap. Also with developer and also the contact developer, if you want a bit of space between the contact details and the 20 code, we can go back into our subclass of footer A and also put some padding to the left and right of that. And you can now see there's a gap between them. Now there's a 40 gap here, and that's okay, it just offsets that a little bit further. Now if you want the Instagram handle or Facebook, once again you can head back to Font Awesome, go into the icon packs. Because we've already got the link embedded, all we have to do then is find the icon, select the one we want. Click on start using the icon, copy this, paste it within our code, save that, and now we have the Facebook as well. So if you want to turn these into hyperlinks, all we have to do is add an ARF tag. So once again, we're going to embed the icon inside an anchor tag, and I'm going to move the end of the anchor tag to the end. And in here we could have www.facebook.com. Save that. Now the Facebook tag is a link to the website, but we need the HTTP in front. Let's see if that works now. And this will now take us to the Facebook. If you want Instagram, etc., Snapchat, you can add those icons from Facebook icons. If you'd like them in your navigation, you can always shift them up there. So I hope you found this tutorial useful on how we can add Font Awesome to your websites. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and have a look around for other useful website tutorials.